Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about OpenVOS and what Greenbone OpenVOS is and how to install it in your Kali Linux. But I had another video that I did a walkthrough on, but this is gonna be a little different. This is gonna how this is gonna be how to install it with Docker. So first, before we get into anything, we're gonna talk about what is OpenVOS if you guys aren't familiar with it. So for an example, if you want to do vulnerability assessments, if you want to do any kind of testing with a vulnerability scanner, you can use OpenVOS for free, right? So OpenVOS is a full featured vulnerability scanner. You know, it's can you know you, you you're capable of doing unauthenticated and, and authenticated scans, so you can authenticate to you know your Windows box, your Linux boxes, or whatever. So you know you can look at the related links and you know the contact information it's very very straightforward right it's like go to products and let's see what they got here i actually never clicked on here and let's go ahead and zoom this in a lot so you have a green bone enterprise and appliance so you can buy it here and put your name in and all that stuff so we're just going to go ahead and install it in our cali i made sure whoops I made sure like all my repositories were updated, everything was updated. So you would always want to do get update APT. And just make sure everything is up to date. I already did this, so this is gonna be everything is up to date. And the next thing we have to do is install Docker if you don't have Docker installed. I don't have Docker installed. Let me make this a little bigger, as big as I can. So what I'm gonna do is APT install docker docker.io whoops if i spelled install right okay let's go ahead and just hit yes there and let that do its thing so what we're going to do next we're going to go ahead and install the openvos image and it, this is available on the docker hub so let's just go ahead i have the command here well, if you don't have the command, let's just go out and see. So open Voss Docker Hub. Okay. See if uh, the Docker image, see if it's the same thing. Oh, I don't know what just happened. Uh, do, do, do. Let's see if we can get this here let's see uh that's not what i'm looking for oh using docker let's see uh, hmm this is a long all right so this is pretty much just docker itself but just follow along and we'll get this installed and let's see if it works okay let's go ahead and just do docker so now docker is running right uh, docker run so and then we're going to do it on port 443 right so 443 colon 443 and then the name what we want to do is we can just do open boss open boss and then let's do mic Plain slash open boss. So now this is going to go ahead and do its thing. We're going to go ahead and pull all the uh, necessary repositories and necessary information down to our local Kali box. And once that's installed, we can go ahead and try to uh, browse out to that locally and see if we're able to get to that site. And if we are able to get to the site, we have you know accomplished this. So let's give this a moment. Only a few more megabytes to go. Come on, zoom, zoom, zoom. All right, so extracting this, this is about 500 megs, 600 megs, so. And obviously this depends on your internet speed. This is a virtual machine, so we have to be a little more patient. But yeah, let this do its thing. And uh, once this is done, we should be able to launch on our local 
uh, IP address or the loopback address, whatever, in our browser, and we should be able to get to our OpenVOS um, solution. So, so when you have OpenVOS, you can have this set up in your virtual environment. You can have like Metasploitable 2, you can have different vulnerable machines, and you could make it on that same virtual network, whatever your network is, whatever segment that is. And what you can do is scan your network, right? Scan your machines and see if you're vulnerable and, you know, latest and greatest, uh, you know, see if you're up to the latest and greatest uh, patches and all that stuff. All right, so now this image is installed, right? So now technically, let's go ahead and just go out to our local machine. All right, go out to our browser and go to a local IP. Uh, say, let's go ahead and advance, accept the risk, and boom, we have it installed. And the default creds is usually admin admin. And we don't have to say it. We can save it. Whatever. It's fine. And here we go. That concludes this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to pull down the Docker container and install OpenVOS. Look, that was less than, what, five minutes to get OpenVOS up and running. My other video was super long, and I found this solution, and I was like, I need to make a video on this. This saves so much more time. And I'm actually going to install this on a production server now and have this new instance running in my environment. So hopefully this is informative for you guys and uh, thank you for viewing.